Oh. We met up with former cattle rancher Howard Lyman, who turned his family's small organic farm into a giant feedlot operation. He witnessed firsthand how factory farming destroyed his land, and over time, as he opened his eyes to the truth, became a vegan advocate. He claims that by demanding so many animal foods, we are literally forking the environment. We're digging more graves with our fork than anything else, and it's not just our grave. We're digging the grave of the future. We're destroying the planet. Howard's lecture was about an hour long, but it doesn't take an hour to understand the basic problem. The demand for animal foods is getting higher and higher every year, but producing them is extremely inefficient and polluting. In November of 2006, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization published a report identifying the livestock sector as one of the top contributors to the most serious environmental problems. According to the report, farm animals contribute more to global warming than the entire transportation sector. How can this be? For one thing, animal protein production releases much more carbon dioxide than plant protein production. See, first you've got to grow and harvest the feed grains, then transport them to the farms where the animals are. You need energy to operate those farms, then to transport the animals to the slaughterhouse. Of course, you have to operate the slaughterhouses, and finally, you have to process and store the animal flesh. On top of that, farmed animals also produce methane when they burp, fart, and breathe. Methane is 23 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere, according to the EPA. Now add to this the fact that we've cleared 70% of forests in the Amazon and elsewhere for cattle grazing and cattle feed. The good news is that switching from the standard American diet to a vegan one for one year would reduce your carbon dioxide emissions more than switching from a normal car to a hybrid. In 2008, the top man of the world's most important international agency dealing with climate change finally came out and said, please eat less meat. Meat is a very carbon-intensive commodity.